Hi, well I just thought I'd try and give you an intro this week to my videos rather than diving straight in. Um, I've been doing a lot of little jobs during the last couple of weeks or so and uh, a lot around the wiring, um, making sure that uh, I can fit all the wires into the boxes and everything. And <coughs> it's still a very, very tight fit, but gradually I'm getting things to work. So uh, I'm going to be mainly talking about the headlight today, uh, although there are other few other jobs that I've done that I'll show you as we go through the video. Um, but yes, I'll be talking about the headlight, the M unit, a um, bit more 3D printing stuff because there are brackets and things to make. And uh, yeah, just a general update on the progress. Um, still quite a lot of things to do. I've got a big long list that um, I will hopefully show you in a bit. But um, it's coming along. I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with the progress, although a little bit slower than uh, you might hope for. So uh, anyway, that's it for the intro. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. The first thing we should see, hopefully, as I walk towards it, and it caught me ahead of time, is um, it's just recognised that I'm near it with my phone. So I should just be able to walk up to it and turn on the ignition by pressing the starter button. And also, when I do that, you see the gear indicator wakes up. So I've printed a little piece here for the gear indicator, and that's all working. Um, put it in first. Might go into second. There we go. Back into neutral. And that's courtesy of a board that I bought a long time ago. I'd forgotten that I'd got it. Um, it's this thing here and as well as decoding the signals from the fancy gear switch um, it also conditions the signal from the the speedo drive which is here has been chopped off but i can feed that signal straight in to the speedo and then use a normal aftermarket speedo uh, which i have one right here and the plan is to mount it something like that uh, and then the uh, various indicator lights around it, so I've got to fabricate some kind of mounting for that. Um, I have mounted, put in the mount for, this, uh, for the petrol tank. Uh, but the other main thing is I've been working on fitting the headlight. Uh, headlight is wired up, uh, partly wired up. It, it doesn't come on until you press start on, on the M unit. So try to start it and then the light comes on. And I've been doing some mad Meccano aided design instead of cardboard because I really needed to hold the light up because I've been checking the alignment and I've measured it. It's a about 840 millimeters off the ground to the, to the center of the light. That's the height this line is set at. And if I sit on the bike, although I'm probably not the right distance away from it now, if I sit on the bike, you see it's a little bit low at the moment. Uh, so it needs to be about there. And I'm basically going to add some adjustment on the side here so that this can slide backwards and forwards but it's roughly it's you can see it's pretty pretty good alignment right there and it's dropping down so there's nothing quite holding at the minute and obviously way too high um, so yeah that is the thing I'm, I've been working on today and will hopefully finish in this video will be I'm going to take these brackets up well this bracket off measure it up do a model infusion and uh, and print some brackets and you can see the pieces I printed earlier in the video. Um, they are on fork, Sm a big one at the bottom, small one at the top. Same on the other side. Uh, all nicely 3D printed. I 
and I got the best surface finish on the top so this was the surface that was down on the printing plate so they look kind of nice they almost look like carbon fiber but um, yeah so this is the next thing is to get these brackets printed and Bit of a bad head day, hair day. So this was the first design with like two sticky out pieces, but I, I realised with this piece here that you can't um, you, there's not enough adjustment to slide it up and down so the new ones it's just a slot this piece to stick into the light there and a separate spacer for the lower part where the adjustment goes and there's the original original mad design um, yeah worked quite well Let's go and put it on the bike. Because it hasn't rained for months and uh, now it's raining, but uh, anyway, let's try and get this fitted on. I think I have enough now to make um, um, a semi-interesting video. Anyway, it is it is still raining. Um, I've tidied up a lot of the wiring, as you can see here. It doesn't it, this will all be covered inside the box? They won't see it, but uh, it is starting to look a lot closer. Um, the next video will be about probably about finishing off the tank connections, um, completing this wiring. Uh, hopefully I will have found the footrest and um, it's actually not far off being able to get an MOT on it now so uh, I am considering doing that but uh, yes so um, I think that's going to be it for this video thanks very much for watching again if you've got this far um, please remember to tell your friends about what a great video this is and uh, we'll see how it goes uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye bye